We had a little oopsie today at the test track on our Teleria Sting. We threw a chain. Transmission output shaft has sheared off. It does happen. We're going to replace transmission output shaft along with a dirty bike bearing and seal kit for the whole gearbox. And I'm also going to show you how to get the gearbox out of here without remo totally removing the motor and the controller. It is, it's possible to tilt it sideways and get the whole gearbox out. And then we'll go through the whole rebuild on the gearbox. Let's get our Telerius thing fixed up. To get this tranny out, first thing I'm going to do is take off the skid plate uh, and the side cover, and then we'll take the motor out. So we'll start with the skid plate. Now we're going to drain the oil from the gearbox, the transmission. There's the drain bolt. It should be a 17, I believe. It is, but hey, this is sort of in the way. So this has to come off anyway, so we're going to take it off right now. Now we can get to it. So... Now we have to open the fill plug to allow air in there and let it all drain out. And it's already almost all out of there. So you can see how much came out. It's not much at all. Next thing to come up is the DC converter. And then this top one also. We're still letting the tranny drain and we'll loosen the motor bolts. Take these out here and here. And note that your rear brake line is above this spacer. So that's how you want to go back together. So next, we remove the transmission vent hose and pinch this clamp and pull it off. Let's support the motor with a jack or a crate or whatever you have to support it. Just so it doesn't drop out once we loosen the last bolt. So now that the motor is supported, we're going to go to the last bolt, which is right under the swing arm. It is a 15 millimeter socket. All right, then we'll push the bolt out. Turn it from the other side. Now the gearbox should be loose enough to move it forward. You may have to come down with the jack. All right, so we've lowered it low enough to separate transmission from the motor. So I have to work it out. It's kind of tricky. All right, you might need a pry bar for this operation to separate it. There's two tabs, one right here. And you don't need to pry a bunch. And one over here, and just sort of work it loose. There it goes. All right. free so it, it takes some jostling but you can get her out of there without
voila, without removing the motor or the controller. Now we'll head to the bench and replace the output shaft and all the bearings and seals in the transmission.